Hey there, what's up? In this video, we're gonna be going over the differences and benefits between the two crypto consensus mechanisms, which are proof of work and proof of stake. Let's go. Hey, welcome back to the channel. Sergio here with Surge Tech. In this channel, I do a lot of reviews, tutorials, and I talk a lot about crypto. So if you haven't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and do so now and hit that bell so you can get notified every time I release a new video like this. So in this video, we're going to be going over the main disadvantages and benefits between proof of work and proof of stake consensus mechanisms. All right, so let's jump right in. So to begin this video, I'm going to go over the basics. So the consensus mechanism is just the mechanism which the cryptocurrencies or cryptography uses in order to validate the block for the blockchain. So the main two types of consensus mechanisms is a proof of work mechanism, which was the first one ever created. And it's the mechanism that Bitcoin uses. And there's a newer mechanism, which is proof of stake, which Cardano and other uh, cryptocurrencies use as well. And Ethereum is trying to change from proof of work to proof of stake. And proof of stake is a mechanism that was created to try and solve problems that a proof of work mechanism was facing. All right, so let's begin with how the transactions are verified in the proof of work mechanism and proof of stake. So for proof of work, there's the famous term, which is known as mining. And how this works is in the network, there's computers solving mathematical problems, which use a lot of electricity to solve these problems. And the computer that solves the problem the fastest is deemed the winner for the blockchain and is rewarded. And this is called mining. This is how Bitcoin and other proof of work cryptocurrencies work and the newer uh, mechanism which is proof of stake works a little bit different there is no mining involved it's actually called forging so how it works is once you own tokens of a proof of stake cryptocurrency like cardano so you would have to own ada which is the crypto token for cardano you would stake it uh, in a stake pool and how the proof of stake system works is the network will randomly select a staker state could be another word for uh, like invested so you pretty much invest your token token back into the pool for that company. So how it works is the network will select one of those investors or forgers to participate in verifying the next block for the blockchain. So it will randomly select the validator for the block. And then that validator that was selected after validating the block completely will be rewarded with the transaction fee associated with the transaction. So that's the main difference. Proof of work is they are rewarded for the work that they do, meaning meaning solving that uh, cryptographic math equation. And in proof of stake, the users are just randomly selected, but you do have to have your tokens invested back into the company in order to participate and hopefully being selected as the validator for that block. So main difference being proof of work, you have to have your computer and electricity work out the math equations for the reward and proof of stake, you have to just have money invested there or your token invested in there in order to be selected and receive a reward. All right, so now we're gonna go over some disadvantages for proof of work and some disadvantages for proof of stake mechanism. All right, so uh, one of the main disadvantages for proof of work mechanism is the amount of energy and electricity that it costs to solve these mathematical equations to validate the block. Um, it's very energy consuming and also less transactions are able to be processed per second in these blockchains. And another thing is the security flaw with proof of work mechanisms. There have been times in the past where a 51% attack has happened and how this works is when a single person or group owns 51% or more of the total mining power, they are able to make particular changes to the block so they can alter the block for their gain. But in a proof of stake mechanism, this could not work because the group or single person would have to have bought over 51% or more of that token's market cap. And in order to do that, uh, right now, Cardano ADA's market cap is at about $36 billion. So that single person or group would have to have bought $18 billion of Cardano ADA or more in order to perform a 51% attack. And not only this, Cardano ADA is also 
also built to spot out these fraudulent transactions and once it does notices them it would eliminate all of the ADA tokens that were used for the fraud since they have to be staked in order to participate in the validation process. So some benefits of proof of stake is obviously it consumes a million times less energy than Bitcoin in order to process transactions. It can also process transactions way faster, a couple thousand transactions per second, while Bitcoin is limited to about seven transactions per second. Proof of stake is also safer from security threats since you actually have to stake your own money in the system in order to participate in the validation process. It will deter fraud because people will lose their staked tokens once they are caught by the network. However, those are the benefits of a proof of stake mechanism. Now let's go over some of the disadvantages. So one of the concerns of the proof of stake method is that those that are staking their tokens in order to uh, receive the fees from the validation process will have a higher chance of being selected and make more money if they have more tokens staked. So obviously if you have more money staked into ADA, you're going to make more money back because you're going to have a higher chance of being selected for the validation process. However, there is a second concern to proof of stake mechanisms and that is that it allows to verify transactions on multiple chains, which proof of work doesn't. The reason this could be an issue is because it may allow a hacker to perform double spend attacks. This is when someone sends funds to two different wallet addresses at the same time. Whereas in a proof of work mechanism, the dishonest chain would simply be rejected. So this is one issue that is associated with proof of stake mechanisms. However, Cardano ADA is the platform that is working to solve all of these proof of stake problems and bring solutions to them. All right, everyone, so that is it for this video. Let me know in the comments down below if you got some value out of this video. And if you did, please go ahead and give it a like as it helps get this video out to more people and if you didn't we'll go ahead and dislike it and let me know in the comments down below why so that's it for this one i'll catch you in the next video and as always peace